This audio recording made me think of the forests in my home province of Nova Scotia. The forest here is the New England Acadian Forest, also known as a temperate broadleaf. The Acadian Forest covers up to 75% of Nova Scotia's land. There's a lot of key dominant species of trees in Nova Scotia, such as the red spruce, yellow birch, eastern hemlock, sugar maple, red oak, American beech, eastern white pine, and white ash. Just like other forests, the temperate broad leaves are also subject to secondary succession. Secondary succession is when there is a disturbance event that damages an established forest or ecosystem, typically fire. A notable secondary succession event was the forest fire in the Lake Echo and Porter's Lake area, just northeast of HRM. The Acadian Forest of Nova Scotia has a wide range of animal diversity. There are about three to four trophic levels in these forests. A trophic level is a hierarchical organization of the energy flow of a food chain with the bottom being primary producers and subsequent levels being consumers. The Nova Scotia forests have many primary producers such as grasses, shrubs, and ferns, skunks, rabbits, squirrels, deer, Porcupine, beaver, and moose are some of the primary consumers. Fox, bobcat, and coyotes are the main secondary consumers. And the bald eagle can fit into the secondary and tertiary consumer positions based on what food is available to them. Although very disputed, cougars have been seen in the province multiple times by citizens that live in forested areas. They would most likely fall under the tertiary consumers. There are also a few omnivores that could fall under the primary consumers and secondary consumers, like the raccoon and black bear. The main detritivores are earthworms, millipedes, and fungi. Two-eyed seeing is a way at looking at the con conservation of forests through the First Nations point of view and a Western point of view. Using two-eyed seeing in the Acadian forests of Nova Scotia is important because the forest covers so much of our land and it creates one of the biggest industries which is forestry. We need to use two-eyed seeing in order to sustainably use the forests like the First Nations did for thousands of years and use Western science to monitor it so humans and nature can both profit.